In today's video, we're talking about the Prescott Justice Court. The Prescott Justice Court is a misdemeanor court here in Arizona. It's in Yavapai County. We see a lot of people charged with crimes out of this particular court. So today, we're going to tell you a little bit more about it. We'll tell you about the court's jurisdiction. We'll tell you about the prosecutors who are in charge of prosecuting crimes here. We'll tell you a little bit more about the judge himself so that if you or somebody you know or love has been charged with a crime out of Prescott, you'll know a little bit more about how it works. So let's dive into it. When we're talking about a court's jurisdiction, we're talking about the geographic area, the land over which this court has authority or has control. It's important to understand what this looks like because if you were stopped or cited with a crime and the crime happened outside of this court's geographic boundaries or outside of this court's jurisdiction, the court doesn't have any authority to hear your case. Your case has to be dismissed from this court because there's no jurisdiction. It's also important to know about the jurisdiction because this tells us what types of agencies are gonna be patrolling in this area and what types of crimes we'll see. When we're talking about Prescott, this is what it looks like if you're not familiar with it. So you can see right there in the center there is Prescott and the jurisdiction surrounds that area. The major freeways that we see run through it are going to be the 89 freeway and the 69 that branches off of the I-17. So if you're anywhere, go, if you're going into Prescott or if you're passing through Prescott, say to go up to Seligman or to go over to Kingman from Prescott or to go up to Vegas or if you just wanna go up to the Grand Canyon, you may be making a stop in Prescott. Anyways, there's a lot of people who are going through this area and traveling on those major freeways. Those freeways are patrolled by the Department of Public Safety, by the Arizona DPS, Arizona Department of Public Safety. Safety. We'll also see some sheriff's officers from Yavapai County from time to time, but predominantly it's going to be Arizona DPS. Because they are they, their jurisdiction is over those freeways, we see a lot of traffic-related offenses. We see a lot of criminal speeding. We see a lot of reckless driving. We do see DUIs when people are traveling from one place to another. There may be a lot of DUIs. We also see some CDL violations, commercial trucking violations. CDL stands for commercial driver's license. And so from time to time, when there are commercial vehicles passing through, DPS may stop them, do an inspection, and charge them with a crime for a simple violation. So it's important to understand that. Now, if you're stopped, cited, arrested, or you have any inter inter interaction with law enforcement, it's going to go over to the Yavapai County Attorney's Office. These are the prosecutors who are in charge of representing the government in criminal cases out of Prescott. Some people think that it's the officer who's prosecuting them. The officer is really a witness. They are not involved in the process unless the case is scheduled for a hearing that they need to testify at or unless the case goes to trial. Mostly you're going to be dealing with the prosecutor and the judge. Now out of Yavapai County, the Yavapai County Attorney's Office, it's one of the bigger counties in Arizona in terms of population. There's a lot of different justice courts that are within the purview of the Yavapai County Attorney's Office. And so they set policies and operate more on a policy-based uh, prosecution, meaning it's not like a very small town a uh, city prosecutor who's the only person for the whole town, and this guy is almost retired. We, there are some of those in Arizona, but it's not like that out of Yavapai. Yavapai operates on policies, which means they are following policies that are set by the county attorney, and those will trickle down to the different uh, misdemeanor jurisdictions, the different prosecuting agencies, the different prosecutors assigned to all of the different justice courts, Prescott being one of them. The reason why that's important is because sometimes people will think otherwise. They'll think this is a small town. They can go in, have a discussion with their prosecutor, say, oh, it's my first DUI, it's my first reckless driving, or it's my first CDL violation. I should be able to get this dismissed or reduced down. What can you do for me? And then they're kind of blindsided because they realize, it's not working that way. You're, they're following their policies. You need a good basis, you need a good reason for them to deviate from that policy, for them to break out of it and give you a better deal or give you a reduction. Of course, that's where we come into play. We help you identify where those areas are, make those arguments, because we certainly do not want you to go plead guilty to the charge. You wouldn't need us, you can do that on your own if you just wanna plead guilty. Our job is to help you get a better deal, to deviate down, to get a better reduction, to get a better outcome in your case. Now, you're dealing with the Avapai County Attorney's Office. You're also gonna be dealing with the judge, Judge Glenn Savona. Judge Savona is a licensed lawyer in Arizona. There's not a lot of those in the justice courts, so that's a positive. Most justice court judges are not licensed lawyers. They just run for office and get elected. Judge Savona is a licensed attorney. This is somebody who did go to law school, 
and got licensed in 1988, went to law school at University of Arizona. So he's been around Arizona for a very long time. He was a prosecutor for uh, Yavapai County for 26 years. So he's been in criminal law for a very long time. He has a very robust website if you wanna to go to it. It's savonaforjusticeofthepeace.com. A whole laundry list of different accomplishments and all the different volunteer things that he's done. But he's been in law for a very long time and been actively involved in it, been dealing with the criminal courts for a very long time. So somebody with a lot of experience which is not a bad thing, not a good thing. Typically what we see from prosecutors who, who then become judges is that they lean towards the prosecution a little bit. We see that a little bit out of this particular judge, but by and large, we think he's a very fair and reasonable guy. We think that he gives fair rulings, listens to arguments, and will hear us out. Now, that being said, he does like to move quickly. He likes to move cases through the process very quickly, doesn't like to have them linger around, will not be granting a bunch of continuances just for the sake of granting continuances. So you need to be prepared with what you want the judge to do or what you're requesting or what the motion you're filing. You need to be ready to go on it because this judge is not gonna allow you to just to continue and continue and continue your case until eternity. Some judges will do that, they're very lax. This judge is not, likes to kind of move quickly, wants to set cases for trial if there's not gonna be a resolution. So you just have to be aware of that. Uh, also from our legal assistance here, I'm, I'm learning that this judge, this court does not take faxes or emails either. So you're gonna to have to get your substantive motions sent in uh, by mail. Sometimes people will try to fax something in or send an email to the court the day before their court date that can be a big problem because this judge and this court will not take them. They want it hard copy in the mail. So just be aware of that. Do not wait till the last minute. We have an office in Prescott, so if you need something done at the last minute, you can certainly give us a call. Uh, we offer free case evaluations as well. So if you or somebody you know or love was stopped or cited out of the Prescott Justice Court for any type of crime, give our office a call. We'll have you come into our office or we'll sit down with you. Uh, if you're in person, if not, we'll do it by phone. We can schedule a telephonic evaluation. That way we can talk through exactly what happened in your case, but more importantly, make sure you have a plan to handle this out of Prescott to make sure it all goes away and it's not following you around forever. So literally nothing to lose. Give us a call, free case evaluations. We'll set you on the right path. We look forward to speaking with you soon and thanks for watching.